Yeah, after three years of long shutdown, we are all very, very uh, keen on, on getting the accelerator running again. Of course, this comes with a, a certain sense of, of, of tension, nervousness. Uh, uh, is everything going well? And, and, and uh, will it all work as we, as we expect? There are always risks uh, when you warm up and cool down a machine from room temperature down to minus 270 degrees because materials shrink, etc. Et Did all this go right? And this will only know in the end if the beam goes around. So that's a very, very exciting moment. If you look to the sky in the evening, you see this 5% of what's out there and the other 95% you don't see. And this is for us what we call the black matter. And we hope to be able to discover hints of the existence and how to look for it also with the LHC. When you're talking about the Large Hadron Collider and physics experiments at this level, the key word is energy. What they're trying to do there is mimic, uh, approach the energies that happen at the beginning of the Big Bang. When all the energy that was released, some of it stayed energy, a lot of it turned into matter. And so if you want to understand the nature of that matter, you need to pull it apart and have a good look at it. And you do that by banging particles into each other that smash into their constituent particles, elements, even you know smaller and smaller and smaller subatomic elements. And you need huge energies to do that. You're accelerating protons, you know, the building blocks of atoms, around this ring at near the speed of light and smashing them into each other. And they fly apart, revealing all the, all the constituents and other elements and, and energies that make up mat matter in the universe. And why is this research so important? Well, if we want to understand our place in the universe, we need to get as deep down as we can get. And in order to do that, you need these energies. And that's what they're doing there. And what these guys are trying to do is break the standard model to see if it holds up to everything they can find out. You know, everything we know about the universe is all lumped together in this idea of the standard model. I was talking to a physicist at CERN, not involved with the Large Hadron Collider, but with the Antimatter Factory, which we're going to visit on Razor in a couple of weeks, which I'm very excited about. He said the raison d'etre for the Large Hadron Collider now is to try and discover dark matter. Dark matter in that standard model that I was talking about and dark energy are the bits we know have to be there, but we have no idea what they are. There's two kinds of dangers. One is what I just yeah. talked about, that we've arranged a society based on science and technology in which nobody understands anything about science and technology. And this combustible mixture of ignorance and power, sooner or later, is going to blow up in our faces. I mean, who is running the science and technology in a democracy if the people don't know anything about it? And the second reason that I'm, I'm worried about this is that science is more than a body of knowledge. It's a way of thinking, a way of skeptically interrogating the universe with a fine understanding of human fallibility. If, if we are not able to ask skeptical questions, to interrogate those who tell us that something is true, to be skeptical of those in authority, then we're up for grabs for the next 
charlatan, political or religious, who comes ambling along.